welcome back to vlogmas day 10 hope you guys are having a great morning or whenever you're watching this a great day um i'm just gonna get started with my journal as always i'm gonna read you guys my answer from yesterday's prompt which was to write down like how you were feeling in the moment like emotions anything in your body that you were feeling so i just wrote down i was feeling hungry antsy my arm was sore and kind of neutral so I just kind of sat there for a minute and like did like a body scan. I do that in my meditation all the time where you'll just kind of like go through each part of your body. Like, oh, my head feels like I'm in a rush or like maybe when your chest is breathing hard, you're like, am I excited? Just kind of go through how your body's feeling and then your emotions. My arm was sore because I got my um, COVID booster and I was antsy because and hungry because I was like about to go to my internship and... I needed to get ready and I needed to eat breakfast. So I was hungry and I'm neutral. I don't know, I wasn't I wasn't stressed, I wasn't excited. I was just kind of like, I was chilling. So all of this was kind of had like a similar goal to meditating was just to kind of like get in touch with how your mind is feeling, how your body's feeling and just like develop that mind body connection and be aware of it and be able to communicate that by writing them down. So that was the goal with yesterday's prompt. Prompt for today, this is one that I completely made up in my head and it's kind of interesting. Also, I'm doing prompts that like I genuinely want to respond to. So I hope that you guys are enjoying the ones I'm picking out. Um, but I'm really trying to come up with interesting ones and things that are like introspective and cool to think about and not just like basic journal prompts. So anyway, today's prompt is kind of today's prompt is gonna be to write down some questions that you have about anything. Um, maybe you can ask some questions to yourself. You can think about more deep philosophical questions about life that you aren't necessarily going to know the answer to. And I think the thing about questions is sometimes questions that don't really have an answer are still really cool questions. I think that getting in touch with being curious and wanting to learn and grow really are good for your like critical thinking skills, your reasoning skills, your creative thinking process. And I think it's really good to get into a habit of asking questions and being curious. So I will share my questions with you guys tomorrow morning. I forgot to show you guys my lunch. I made the rest of my salad that I got yesterday at Trader Joe's, almost done. And I made my butternut squash soup and I put little seeds on top, but they all sunk. So now it looks ugly, but this is my lunch. <laughs> Uh, I just finished my lunch and I'm going to the pool with my friend to um, study marketing more. I put a lot of sunscreen on my face, have my hat. If you're just tuning in to this video for the first time, I had a laser treatment at the dermatologist when I'm at home so I can't get like any sun on my face. So I've been avoiding the pool, but I really want to go outside. I'm probably just going to like lay backwards so I'm in the shade. And yeah, we're just going to go through the textbook, study a little bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, it's way later. It's like dark out now. Um, I don't think I vlogged. I don't even know when the last time I vlogged was. I think I was at the pool, but I was studying at the pool with my friend and went to just take my final. Um, I think I did good. It was 68 multiple choice questions and there were only like five or so that I wasn't sure about. So yeah, I think it went well. And now I'm walking, walking to Trader Joe's to get dinner again. Um, or maybe I'll just get like a bunch of groceries right now so I don't have to keep coming here every day. But I kind of just like walking here to get like one meal at a time. I don't know. And also I'm going out tonight with my friends and I'm gonna wear this new set from Pretty, Pretty Little Thing I'm so excited about. I don't know if I already talked about this. It's like mesh. So I'm gonna wear like biker shorts under it. I don't know, I have to figure it out. But it's this really cute mesh set. So we're going out later and I'm bringing you guys along. So yay, exciting, but I haven't been out in a while. I've just been having like really chill nights and I really enjoy that, but then once in a while, I'm still like, okay, I need to go out.
today. Oh, these doors always confuse me because there's two. Um, yeah, I'm hungry, so I'm excited to make dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna make. Okay, here's the dinner lineup. First, we have organic Brussels sprouts. I'm obsessed with these. I just cooked them in my pan. I cut them in half, put olive oil, and I just got Parmesan cheese also that I'm gonna maybe put on top, so I think that would be good. And then I got, well, first I got this mushroom risotto. I used to eat this all the time. I haven't had it in a while. So I'm gonna make this and then also make this seafood blend. It's shrimp, calamari rings, and scallops. And then I'm gonna put this in the risotto and try to make like a little seafood mushroom risotto thing. What else? I am in my robe. I just showered. I didn't wash my hair, even though it's kind of dirty from the pool before. I am going out. Um, it's like 8.30 now, so we're probably gonna leave at like 11.30, whatever. My hair is not gonna have time to dry was the point. So I'm just gonna like leave it kind of dirty and have a little dry shampoo moment. And yeah, I'm gonna eat dinner and just relax. Probably get ready at like 10. And I'll show you guys my outfit and my makeup and my hair and everything. Risotto is done, looks so good. These are like almost done. Looking good. I'm gonna do the Brussels sprouts after cause I don't have any more room. Wait, guys, this looks so good. I'm excited. Oh my god, it's hot. Okay, I just did my makeup. I am all ready. Guys, the set, I'm obsessed with how it came out. Okay, so this was like kind of see-through. I don't know if you can kind of tell. Um, So I'm wearing like black shorts under here. I had like old biker shorts from Forever 21, like common ones, and I just cut them so they were a little mini. Um, And it worked out, and I'm wearing my black boots from also pretty little thing this is all from pretty little thing i will link and natural hair i did my makeup i did like a little small wing um with my eyeliner remember wait, did any of you guys watch my halloween vlog where i was like having a phase of doing like such heavy eyeliner like on my inner corner it looks cool for halloween and then i just didn't stop doing it and i was like okay that's enough um but yeah anyway it's like 10 30 right now yes yeah, 10 30 i'm out of breath again i don't know why i'm in my bathroom i'm always out of breath but i am going to pregame at 11 so i have like a little bit of time um to just like finish up whatever also anyone with brown hair giving you guys like a little preview of how messy my cabinet is but this is the best dry dry shampoo it's like tinted dark if you are brunette because you know how the regular dry shampoo like leaves like a white cast on your hair this one's like dark brown so it doesn't show up in your hair and i absolutely love it so i definitely recommend if you're brunette and looking for a dry shampoo